चॉकलेट्स खाना किसे पसंद नहीं बट डिड यू नो द मेन इंग्रेडिएंट दैट इज कोको बटर इक्विवेलेंट इज एक्चुअली मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन रायपुर वेल ऑन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द सेलिब्रिटी टॉक शो लेट्स मीट दीप सराफ ऑफ मनोरमा इंडस्ट्रीज एंड फाइंड आउट मोर दीप वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू द सेलिब्रिटी टॉक शो यू नो टू बिगिन विद मैं ये जानना चाहूंगी मनोरमा इंडस्ट्रीज विच इज अ मैन्युफैक्चरर ऑफ कोको बटर इक्विवेलेंट राइट तो किस तरह से शुरुआत हुई इस बिजनेस की दिस एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड विथ माई ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर वी वर इन स्मॉल टाउन इन महाराष्ट्र एंड ही यूज टू गेट दिस ऑयल सीड्स एंड वो जो कच्ची घानी होती है उससे ग्रैंड ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर एंड दादी हाँ जी तेल निकालते थे दे यूज टू सेल इट ऑफ इन द मार्केट एंड दैट्स हाउ द हम्बल बिगनिंग स्टार्टेड फॉर मनोरमा देन one of his sons like my right. grandfather went to london did a gold medal uh, chemistry degree in uh, from london university came back and started uh, looking for alternative oil seeds right uh, for various uh, uses in chocolates and alternative uses of oils and that is where he found out that mango stone mango mm. kernel jo hum aam gutli kha ke fek dete hain that contains oil and other oil seeds like salt seed chia nut this this oils can be marketed and used as cocoa butter equivalents oh really so back okay. then i think in 1940 sometime he went for a exhibition to uh, paris hmm. he did not have the money to uh, show showcase his product so he was just uh, wearing this belt kind of a thing and placed those products there wherein he met mr michael ferrero the okay. owner of ferrero company and from that time it this journey started so then he uh, set up a small factory in maharashtra and started supplying uh, the crude uh, form of butters right to ferrero and from there we are the followers of our grandfather but right. of course we have done a lot of uh, new things and new ideas and new equipment and machinery for producing this fat so when he started it was in the crude form now we are doing uh, we are almost competing with the seven multinationals world over and we are the only types in india to do this business to aap ye bata rahe hain ki ferrero rocher mein jo coco butter equivalent use hota hai wo manorama industries ka hai which means india has actually been supplying coco butter to this international brand ferrero rocher yes it has been supplying uh, to ferrero rocher for the last almost 40 years wow. and not only ferrero rocher we are yeah. supplying to mondelez we are supplying to hershey's mars so all these international chocolate companies are buying their ingredients from us can you tell me the difference between coco butter and coco butter equivalent coco butter is basically derived out of coco nuts right and coco butter equivalent is a combination of palm mid fraction mm-hmm. which is derived from uh, palm oil mm-hmm. and uh, sal sterine or she sterine or uh, mango sterine mm. so these sterines are basically the hard portion of a oil or a butter Hmm. which uh, blended with palm mid fraction is almost the same property of cocoa butter and when you say cocoa butter you need a fat hmm. or a chocolate hmm. which should melt at your body temperature Achha. and in the wrapper it should be in solid state right so you never know where a chocolate is being uh, going to be consumed in india or dubai hmm. or africa or some place right. so it has to be very temperature tolerant that and the moment it gets into your body yeah. all the solid content of the chocolate should melt otherwise we will have problems absolutely so that is the basic ingredient for a chocolate aapne bataya aapke grandfather ne factory shuru kari thi maharashtra mein ji so why have you all set your base in raipur because maharashtra that that was 40 50 years back and the technology that time was different the family structure was different Right. the all the basic raw material that comes for this is sal seed which is all around raipur hmm. so it's basically chatisgarh odisha jharkhand right so and we have been living here for the last 20 25 years hmm. so this is the ideal location now we are also doing shea butter okay. the, so the shea nut comes from africa hmm. so that uh, logistics also work uh, via visakhapatnam to raipur hmm. the plant that we have now is uh, seventh of its kind in the world and one of its kind in the in the country so it's great that manorama industries has been doing so well and internationally you mentioned so many brands but what about indian brands indian chocolate brands kya wo bhi uh, manorama industries se coco butter equivalent use karte hain the chocolate consumption in india is growing at a rate of 16% per annum okay so all the youngsters nowadays they don't want to eat mithai and all that yeah 
so all these international companies are coming up with their factories in india hmm. so they are also uh, like ferrero has been here already since i think 7 8 years right they have a plant in baramati so hmm. they are buying mondeli is already hmm. the biggest player in india so they right. are buying and all the other companies have set up their plants and are in the process of setting up the plants so right. sooner or later they will have to come in and consume Wow, so your business clearly seems very solid and foolproof. लोगों को chocolates हमेशा ही पसंद आएंगे. तो कभी आपकी कोई challenges रहे हैं in Manorama Industries? And yeah. if you can take us through those ups and downs of the in business. In this, ma'am, uh, the basic major challenge is getting into uh, like cracking a customer because hmm. when you see all all this uh, people like Mondelez, Ferrero, process of. Hmm. developing a product and they using your product hmm. is a very challenging task wherein they have to go through a process of 2 years 3 years shelf life taste right so when they analyze all this and you have to wait till that time yeah so that's a big challenge but then we have been fortunate enough to be with them since so long so hmm. it was a easier way for us other rather than any other person doing it you know cocoa butter or chocolate rather is not just used to consume now we see a lot of cosmetic products as well which are yes. chocolate based right yes. so this manorama industries also produce uh, or manufacture cosmetic products we do a mango butter and okay. body shop has a full range oh, yeah, of, of products course. on mango butter so body shop is the customer which we are doing mango for and then after that a lot of people other then body shop have also started and we also run a project in hands with body shop in the forests of bastar right. wherein we do a lot of csr activities ah oh, that's interesting yeah. okay so chatisgarh hamesha se humne suna hai ki natural minerals mein bahut rich hai okay. and as you can say also for cocoa butter equivalent isn't yes, it yes yes and uh, like the best part about this business ma'am is like we are creating waste out of uh, we are creating wealth out of waste so it's like the poorest people of hmm. the country it's tribals it's tribal women hmm. say 18 million uh, women we have hmm. do in the forest of satisgarh jharkhand odisha hmm. who are the collectors of these seeds right so we collect from the poorest and right. supply it to the richest right so you're saying most of this cocoa butter is actually extracted from mango seeds or then there are different different it, it's a combination of butter which is coming out of sal seeds hmm. it's a butter which is coming out of shia nuts hmm. so these butters in various combinations can hmm. be used as cocoa butter equivalents so of course you are also indirectly employing a lot of tribal community of chatisgarh yes, i are. think that's very very yes. admirable yes. Yeah. yeah so just in terms of food and sweets uh tell me if there is one good dessert of raipur that one must definitely try or from chatisgarh what would you recommend i am not a local so and i'm not a sweet person so oh. i i wouldn't know uh, oh my god you are not a sweet person are you a chocolate person or I'm not i'm a chocolate person but i'm not <laughs> like i am off sugar i don't know since how many years oh really yeah. so you don't really taste I, the cocoa uh, butter that is being manufactured cocoa butter is anyway tasteless it doesn't yeah. have sugar is uh, surplusly added to the chocolates to make it sweet otherwise right. cocoa butter is very blank in taste yeah it can if you it, you can give it a taste whatever you want to right by right. adding the flavors okay yeah. okay can you take take us through the process of chocolate making really and the contribution of cocoa butter uh, it's it's basically uh, the the process of making a chocolate is cocoa butter of course itself yeah. then a sugar yeah. and then a lot of uh, other um, taste enhancers right whatever you want to add to it right and of course biscuits or puffs or whatever yeah so that is basically the composition of a chocolate right and depends from uh, vendor to vendor how do they project their uh, product sure now you are a third generation uh, owner of manorama industries i would I'd like to understand you know as time passes by flavors evolve uh, the kind of variations that are evolving a lot of brands are coming in a lot of competition how do you manage to upgrade you know yourself uh, or the company to stay relevant what is it that you guys do as the third generation entrepreneurs uh, are owners we in a way like i pointed out before we are a factory which is fully as well as forward backward integrated and the technology that we are using for hmm. processing of this uh, butters hmm. is all is world class like hmm. we are the seventh company in the world hmm. and the only one of its kind in india so in terms of chocolate we are not the chocolate yeah. manufacturer we right. are the ingredient manufacturer so 
our our quality is world class top top class so we don't see any challenges or yeah. any issues there yeah that's what i said it's a full proof business yeah. <laughs> so they what about the future plans how do you plan to expand the business we, we have recently expanded into a new refinery okay. for the butters and uh, uh, additional capacity of solvent fractionation which is very state of the art plant and uh, we got listed on the bombay stock exchange in 2018 at a share price of 200 rupees and today we are happy to say we are around 4100 rupees wow so that has been the multiplication and the growth of the company yeah that's that's quite an appreciation of your stock prices deep has been wonderful talking to you and thank you for taking us through all the insights of your business thank you so much for being here yes. talking to us <laughs> thank you I hope you enjoyed watching the show stay tuned to the celebrity talk show dekhte rahiye news 18 madhya pradesh chatisgarh